there and welcome to the fourth month of this year, the month of April, another Watchword series that we hold every month. The Almighty God will bless you and continually keep you in His love in the mighty name of Jesus. As this is the fourth month, the month of Easter, the month of His glorious resurrection, the Lord has given us another Watchword for this month. That we stand on, that we pray on, that we believe, and we get testimonies as a result. And it is the month of his resurrection. The month of his resurrection. We would like to look at the Bible passage that he has given to us, the book of John, chapter 11, from verse 20 to 26. John chapter 11, from verse 20 to 26. Then Martha, as soon as she heard, that Jesus was coming, went and met him. But Mary sat still in the house. Then said Martha unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Jesus saith unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth, believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Hallelujah. Amen. The month of his resurrection. A very happy Easter to you all. We thank the Almighty God who has given us the victory over sin and death through our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Jesus Christ said, I am the resurrection and the life. We know that he is the life because the Bible says in him was life and the life was the light of men. We want to look closely at the resurrection. What is the resurrection? What is resurrection? Resurrection means manifestation. The power of resurrection is the power of manifestation. When Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus in that scripture, after four days that Lazarus had died and the people were all gathered there, he prayed to his father. And after the prayer, he called out Lazarus from the dead. And Lazarus came out. The Bible says that he that was dead came out, bound. Lazarus manifested in person. He did not manifest in the spirit. He manifested in person. Eyes popped open in shock and disbelief. That what? Somebody can come out after four days? The one who is the resurrection and the life proved himself. The power of death was destroyed. And he has not even gone to the cross yet. 1 John 3, 8. 1 John 3, 8. The B part says, For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. God is saying to someone here, I believe, listening to me, that because Jesus manifested in glory and power, you too will manifest in glory and power in the name of Jesus. All the works of the devil concerning you has been destroyed. So we are able to establish our victory over every situation and circumstances and even over death in the name of Jesus. So your time of manifestation is here. Who you really are, what God is doing in you and through you will be seen. Your glory will be seen. People will therefore begin to favor you for just no reason. Your time of showing is here. Your time to manifest has come. Hallelujah. So resurrection means to manifest. To manifest the glory of God. To manifest the power of God. What is resurrection? Resurrection also can mean to uncover something that was covered up. Resurrection means to uncover something that was covered up. I pray for you today that the power to uncover your hidden blessings, your hidden riches of secret places, and make it known to you. May the Lord reveal it to you in the name of Jesus. So where they have covered up your visa application, for example, housing application, job application, university application, or whatever application that you might have made, 
that has not yet re yielded results shall be uncovered and made known to you. And you will hear the good news very soon in the name of Jesus. The time for your skills, talents, and gifts to be seen is now. God wants to make you a masterpiece to the whole world. All those involved in your case who are working against your life and destiny, the angels of God will uncover their plans and reveal them to you in the name of Jesus. Job 5.12 Job 5.12 says, It disappointed the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. It will disappoint all their plans in the name of Jesus. All those who are involved in granting your application, the angels of God will not give them rest until they grant your application in Jesus' name. So resurrection means something that was covered up that is now uncovered. Also, please note, if I may add, every secret sin too will be uncovered. But it is to make you repent of them so that it doesn't stand against you on the last day. Every secret sin. The Bible says that there's nothing that is hidden that shall not be revealed. Sooner or later, it will be uncovered. So please take note of that. Mary Magdalene came to the tomb after the stone had been rolled away and was able to see that which was covered up. She saw the empty tomb with, the, with an angel inside who spoke with her and told her, He is not here. He is risen. Hallelujah. She saw the napkin neatly folded in the tomb. In this resurrection month, those who have made a mockery of you shall so celebrate with you in the name of Jesus. Why? Because God has given us what is bigger than our minds can imagine by his resurrection. This tells us now that we can achieve what the world will never expect us in our lifetime to achieve. Paul said in Philippians 3, 10 to 11, Philippians 3, 10 to 11, he said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. If by any means I might attain unto the resurrection of the dead. The Living Bible translation says, Now I have given up everything else. I have found it to be the only way to really know Christ and to experience the mighty power that brought him back to life again and to find out what it means to suffer and to die with him. The message version also said, I gave up all that inferior stuff so I could know Christ personally experience his resurrection power, be a partner in his sufferings, and go all the way with him to death itself. And if there was any way to get in on the resurrection from the dead, I wanted to do it. From this month onwards, may you begin to experience the power of his resurrection, just like Paul did in the name of Jesus. Brethren, do you appreciate that every night we all fight a battle of life and death? Every night we sleep and wake up is a battle of life and death. And only the winners wake up to see the following day. Do you recognize that? You have seen today and you have victory over death. That death did not take you overnight. Thanks be to God who giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. You are a winner today because Jesus died for you and woke up on the third day for you. Christ died for us so we can live for him. So what kind of life are we living for him? Is it a life well-pleasing in his sight? Or is it a life that he cannot behold? Brethren, we must begin to live our lives in such a way that it does not hinder others from serving God. Because Galatians 2.20, Galatians 2.20 says, I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I but Christ that liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. We must begin to live our lives in such a way that it does not cause others to sin and to stumble. When people look at us, what do they see? What do they see? I'm reminded of the story in Acts chapter 3, when Peter and John met the man by Get Beautiful, the lame man, he told the man, look at us. Look at us. What did that man see when he looked at them? Well, his look caused him 
to have an expectation, which is the first thing to receive in from the Lord. If you, are, if, you, if you want to receive something from the Lord, you must have an expectation. He had an expectation that they were going to give him money. What you don't expect, you don't experience. He experienced a new life through the power of his resurrection. He was raised back up on his feet. He was expecting money, but he got more than what money can buy. We will not come to the fullness of his resurrection power until we take up our cross and follow him all the way. The cross will be heavy, but Jesus will give us the grace to bear it. Jesus said in Matthew 16, 24 to 25, Matthew 16, 24 to 25. If any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it, and whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. He said, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself. Are you prepared to deny your title? Deny your position? Deny your achievements? Deny everything that you have gathered up? And follow Christ because Jesus did he denied his glory the joy that was set before him he put it aside so that he can die on the cross for you and I Ezekiel experienced the power of his resurrection too in Ezekiel chapter 37 1 to 10 Ezekiel chapter 37 1 to 10 one minute the bones were dead dry and disconnected and the next minute there was a shaking and broken things were mended. Bones began to locate each other. And before we knew it, dead people were brought back to life again. That they became a strong, mighty army. That is the power of his resurrection at work. All your hopes and aspirations that seemed like a pipe dream shall come together again and be restored back to you and will become a reality before your very eyes because of the power of his resurrection. All those things that you never thought possible will begin to happen for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So I want you to believe in the power of his resurrection. Jesus came, left everything, left his glory, left his power, left his joy that was set before him, left his riches to become poor just for you and I, to come and die on the cross of Calvary for us. But thank God, he did not just die alone. He rose up again on the third day, the victorious resurrection. That is what we are celebrating this month. And I hope you will be able to celebrate that with Jesus himself, so that he too can be glad that you appreciated what he has done for you. By bringing salvation, reconciling us back to God, not allowing sin, to divide us and separate us permanently from our Father. So we give him all the glory. So this month, month of April, the month of his resurrection, I welcome you to this month of his resurrection. Thank you very much for listening to us again. God bless you and have a victorious resurrection month in Jesus' name. Bye.